Hey guys, this is Starshot, here to welcome you back to another Let's Play of Legend of Heroes. We last left off uh, saving our dear friend uh, Clem from Ra the Ravens, with our little help from Heavy Blade Agate, after finding out what happened to the orphanage and why it burned down and that it wasn't an accident. Uh, but now we'll be off to... and then of course we did a lot of prep work for the uh, side quests we'll be doing. And we've and I decided to start going off into the uh, seaside getaway and complete the uh, maintenance delivery. Uh, but we'll also complete the secret of the old map as well as the escort job along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I remember the last time I was talking about side quests, and for the most part, I usually per you know like. When it comes to side quests, I, it, like depending on how well it's done, will be if I, you know, if I fully enjoy the game or not. Cause oh wait, actually, uh, and just as a side note here, to find the treasure that we uh, we need to look for, uh, we actually have to follow this path here, which winds all the way around, and you can't go any further out. So you just keep going this way, and you should encounter a barrel. Now, I did do a bit of research beforehand to do this, just so that I didn't spend the entire time wandering around the map looking for this stuff. So, but we found some skull daggers and a torn map. Wow, awesome daggers. They seem pretty ancient. From the look of them, they may even date back to the Orbal Revolution. Well, what about that piece of paper? Looks like a piece of a sea chart. Do you think? Maybe this is the treasure that Jiminy, Jimmy was talking about. Sorry, but I don't think this is this has anything to do with it. I would say this probably washed ashore from somewhere else. It might have been cargo from a shipwreck. Yes, I believe you're right. I heard that such accidents happened often long ago. Oh, so before airships, everyone traveled by water, right? I wonder if this beach is right on an old trade route or something then. So, but now that we got that, we can either go back into town to turn it into Jimmy, or we can just continue on like I uh, originally planned. I usually prefer trying to get things all done kind of on the way, because uh, since there aren't any warp points or anything like that, you uh, it can take a while of travel time between, you know, going to this village here and back to the city. So, but yeah, when it comes to most side quests, uh, you know... I guess one like some of the examples I usually cite for good side quests would probably be uh, um, the one we're doing right now. You know, trying to discover an old map by searching the area, which is not something uh, you do all the time in some games. But I, I find it enjoyable because uh, one example I guess of some bad side questing I remember doing was back. Um, in a game I recently tried to play again on the PS3, uh, Alteria Rorona. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that first part right, but uh, I believe the name is, or the word Alterior, Alter something like that, is French for item shop, or something, like, or shop maybe. Let's see, uh, not that. Oh yeah, Ariel. But um, so the and for everyone who doesn't know what this game I'm talking about is, uh, Altera Rorona is a game where you you start you you play the a young girl who just inherited an, an alchemy shop from her owner. It's actually a series, a franchise that uh, has quite a few games in its repertoire already. Uh, usually starts with Alteria and then someone's name. So, but uh, the game, you, in this case, Altira Rorona, has this young girl inheriting a, her master's shop, but the shop is going to be shut down by the kingdom unless she can prove it's worthwhile to still keep it by creating items and uh, doing work for the populace and the king in general. And so, you know, 
you pretty much the main objective is completing the task the king gives you and uh, you know proving your worth because you know when haven't you had to do that in a video game having to prove your worth so but the main like the main bulk of the game that you do play through is crafting items so of course that's part of what some of the side quests you do are as well is that you you know complete you uh, try and find or craft certain items for people to use and you get a certain amount of money for it and like I don't mind simple you know work like that every now and then but the g side quests themselves felt very pre-generated like these were you know things that you would that were pretty much just generated by the computer for you to do as busy work to try and get some of the item items or uh, material experience needed to uh, complete and that, sadly I just find that fairly boring and tedious especially after a while and that's because that's really the only thing you ever do in the game is either you go into the forest where you'll fight the occasional monster to either get his stuff or find items in random spots throughout the areas. And, uh... And that's kind of about it. You know, there's no... You know, real questing or adventuring to be really had. Uh, like... What? The stuff you took before wasn't enough? Uh... <laughs> So, like, just for an example, as you see in Legend of Heroes, here we are, you know, or here we went to try and find a treasure chest that was hidden inside a barrel. We're currently off to uh, deliver uh, some maintenance tools to a lighthouse keeper. We've uh, had other quests where we, of course, just defeated monsters, you know, but the monsters always provide an interesting challenge and are fairly can be fairly difficult to beat without knowing what to do. Uh, so, Legend of Heroes side questing, you can tell, are fairly well crafted in giving us different things to do here and there throughout the story, along with the main quests, which give you something more to do than just uh, figure, you know, fight the bad guy wherever you find him. So, uh, and now here we uh, check out the shop here. We need to pick up some salty anchovies, which this shop here sells, you know, right here. We'll, of course, bring it, you know, buy a few of them since they're pretty cheap. But we'll be using these to get bonus BP points from the lighthouse keeper. Uh, but, of course, before we move on, we'll go ahead and uh, eat, uh, actually rest at the end here, just to heal up. Because we will be escorting someone uh, to the Crone Trail from this village here. This is part of the escort quest uh, that we uh, picked up right here. We pretty much talked to uh, this woman uh, who should be, I believe, right here. Huh? Um, are all of you with the Bracer Guild? Yeah, we are. I guess you must be Miss Amelia. That's right, I've been waiting for you. The assignment said something about an escort mission? Guarding someone who's headed into the mountains? Yes, that's right. I want you to protect my uncle. He's going through the Crone Trail. Hmm. Oh, he's traveling to Boys, right? No, not exactly. He wants specifically to go to the Crone Trail. Huh? How come? Why would anyone want to just go there? He said something about looking for some rare plants up there. I'm sorry, I don't really know what he's talking about. Uh, okay then. Well, I think we should ask him directly then. Indeed. Please wait a moment, I've already called for him. This sounded a lot simpler when we saw it on the bulletin board. I have a feeling this isn't going to go well. Crone Trail is an exceedingly dangerous place. I can't imagine anyone specifically wanting to go there. No kidding. 
We'll never know if we don't ask the man, though. Oh, look! Oh, looks like he's here. Huh? Where's your uncle? Well... It looks like he's already set out. What? Set out? For the Crone Trail, I assume? I think so, yes. And I'd ask him to at least wait until you showed up. I don't know what made him decide to just leave on his own like this. Hmm, that's not good. Not good at all. Why would he go there alone? It's like asking for a monster to eat you. You'll be even more dangerous in the dark. You should really be off the pass by sundown. <sighs> I'm sorry. You came all this way for basically nothing. Oh, don't worry about us. We're fine. I'm really sorry. I'll have a word with my uncle as soon as he gets back. Hmm. But yeah, this, uh... Even though it is an escort job, we uh, should probably look for the man himself, because we're I'm fairly certain he's in danger. So we'll go ahead and uh, look around the Crone Trail a bit, see if we can find him. So, but yeah, so on Tui Rorona, as I mentioned, there wasn't really much else to do other than just continue crafting items and things like that, which the game itself was trying to go for... I could tell it, was, it felt more like trying to be Harvest Moon, where you kind of had the, you know, a simple life where you created a routine, build relationships, and build up your experience, and then expand your shop. And, you know, but it, sadly, there was, because there wasn't really much else to do in the game itself, I never really got into it, compared to, you know, a game like this, with how varied and crafted the side quests are, along with, uh, along with, uh, you know, just, uh, uh, you know, in Harvest Moon itself, you have a lot of options. Oh, and it looks like we found our man. Ah! <laughs> He's being chased by the giant eggs. That's definitely my worst nightmare, being chased by giant, uh, magical eggs. Uh, hey there! Help! I need help! Come on, Joshua! Right. Of course, these eggs shouldn't be any problem for us. But let's just see. Yeah, uses fire, explodes when defeated. So, no worries. And of course, we can just use uh, our water arts here to take care of them. But yeah, so, like, in Harvest Moon, like, that's what I felt like what Arteria Rorona was trying to do in the first place, was trying to be a Harvest Moon-like game, but in Harvest Moon, you have so many things you can do in it. You can raise crops, you can raise animals, you can build your relationships, you can go to festivals, you can buy items that get upgraded and become even stronger the more you use them. When you first start off on your farm, you have to clear the entire area just to start, you know, before you plow anything. So. You know, Harvest Moon gave you a lot of, to do, and even more varied things to do. You could go fishing, you could go at night to chop for wood, or, you know, uh, gather herbs that you can sell, too. You could, you know, and just the list goes on and on. So, sadly, you know, what Altera Rona, I felt like, needed to do more was, if they wanted to go with this, to try and give more options, like, give you, like, ways on um, trying to create items that help you collect more items, or to, uh, try and, uh, give you other ways of collecting these items than just from monsters and the forest. And, you know, potentially a few other things as well that I can't think off the top of my head without thinking more about, but at least that's my personal opinion, and at least that's how I felt the game kind of turned out for me, is why, why I couldn't get into it as maybe others could. And, uh, of course, I just healed someone who didn't need to be healed. Uh, sorry, I... It can be difficult to talk and play this game sometimes at the same time. So... Uh, let's continue helping out this guy, and I'll finish my thought after this. It looks like we made it just in time. 
More like by a hair's breadth. Were you hurt, sir? Not at all. I'm quite all right. Thanks to you, I came out with nothing more than a few scratches. Hmm. Now, I could almost swear that I I've seen you two somewhere before. The girl's homely face is especially familiar. Homely? Hey. But now that you mention it... Oh, I remember now. You're that country girl from Roland. Wait, isn't this the guy we helped find a firefly fungus? Oh crap, I think it is. Wow. <laughs> and here's another thing I guess I really did enjoy about this game. They actually bring back characters that didn't play much significance, but <laughs> they apparently make comesbacks. Wow. Old Orvid. So many videos so long ago. And here he is causing us more trouble. You! You're that conniving merchant who was searching for those toxic mushrooms. Estelle, he was a client, remember? Tone it down a bit. <laughs> it looks like even now you still haven't learned how to show the slightest courtesy. It's exactly what I would expect from someone raised in the boonies. How about you just shut up, you nasty food maniac? No doubt you were out here hunting for more bizarre ingredients again. Hmph. <laughs> I've already gathered the valuable wild vegetables I came here for. These exotic delectables are far more unique than even the firefly fungus. <laughs> With these in hand, my next business deal is sure to be a success. Back up, buddy. What do you mean by next business deal? Ha! That firefly fungus didn't work out for you, did it? I'm not going to listen to you anymore of this pessimism. There just happens to be no demand for them at the time, that's all. End of story. Um, Estelle, when he mentioned the wild vegetables, did that bring anything to mind? Oh, right. Amelia, who we met at Menorah Village. Amelia, you say? That's my niece, but what does she have to do with any of this? Eh? Which means that you're her uncle? It certainly looks that way. Why, has she done something? Um, actually, Amelia asks that we provide your escort. But when we arrived in Menorah, you had already left. I... is that so? I guess it wasn't very nice of me to take off like that. But it couldn't be helped. I had to come up with a real, real eye catcher before my next business deal. And because of that, you almost ended up being some monster's next meal. I'm pretty sure you can't do business deals while you're in the belly of a monster. Hmm... Once you get back, you should apologize to Amelia. I'm sure she's worried sick about you. Alright, fine. I promise to talk to her after my next business deal in Bransel is done. I think that would be a good move on your part, too. Okay, let's get going. We'll escort you back to town. You have my thanks. I'm in your hands. So, but yeah, now he gets to follow along with us and cause us trouble if we run into any monsters. But let's just avoid that for now if we can, and uh, uh, then get our make our way over to the lighthouse for the, the maintenance delivery. But yeah, so I definitely felt like oh, Terry Rorona had some missed opportunities with the game, and sadly it didn't keep my attention long enough to play it. You know, sadly, it will, might be one of the few games in my collection that I may not uh, eventually beat with how things are going. Actually, I want to double check something just before we move on. Okay, yeah, I already got the treasure just here. You know, some certain areas that are unexplored always bother me. It's like, what's over there? And that's another thing I guess Alterorona didn't really have going for it too much. But yeah, I'll take care of... Well, actually, we're just doing a delivery, so maybe we won't have to worry about monsters. Actually, just in case, I'll go ahead and drop him off since we're just right over here. But yeah, so... You know, and that's kind of why, like, I tout Harvest Moon, especially Harvest Moon 64, is my favorite out of uh, all of them right now. But, uh... That's just my personal opinion. I'm, I've played a few of the other ones, and they they work out for the most part. Uh, 
Even if they some of the recent entries have had a bit of trouble. Hmm, this is splendid. I'm greatly obliged to you for today. I do hope that the matter from earlier can be forgiven and forgotten. It would seem that we are united by fate. When next we meet, I hope we can see one another as business associates rather than mutual nuisances. I'm okay with it. What do you think, Estelle? Hmm. Sounds good to me. So we're all on good terms again. To future success. Successes. I'm very glad to hear you say that. Then perhaps we'll meet again on the next job. Is he actually going to be a returning character? It'll be, it'll be weird if he whiz, but uh, that seems what this game's going for. But yeah, so now time to make that delivery we promised to do it for the lighthouse. And then we can run back to ruin and get started on looking for a lost candelabra. But yeah, another example I felt like of good uh, questing design, side questing at least, would uh, be the ones found in Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns. Or Final Fantasy XIII III Lightning Returns. At least in my opinion. You can... Uh, out of the trilogy, that's actually the one I liked out of uh, the three. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure everyone has their... Uh, favorite of a trilogy when they find one, or you could not like any of the 13s, but that's just me. Let's see, and here's our lighthouse man to deliver. We're back! Huh? Aren't you them kids from before? Yeah, I'm still not doing that teeheeing. It's been a while since we were last up this way. And today we're here on another job. A request came in to the Bracer Guild, so we're here to deliver this maintenance kit. Here you go. It's a little heavy though, so be careful lifting it. Yep, everything's here alright. I appreciate you bringing this all the way over here. Oh, no worries. It's our job after all. Um, on another note, we actually have something else for you. Oh? Here you are, sir. It was entrusted to our care by Primo from Laven Laventar. Oh my my my! It's Azilio Rose! I used to drink this all the time while munching on anchovy dishes. And we also hand over the salted anchovies. Ha ha! I've got one of those for you too! Oh! Oh! You've even brought me some munchies to go with it! What thoughtful bracers you are! Man, this takes me back. How are Primo and the others? Are they doing well? You bet. They are all worried about you too, Gramps. M work must be tough, so take care of yourself, okay? Don't overexert those old bones of yours. I, uh, won't. Well, blunt or no, thank you for the concern. I value that even more than anchovies. So, does this mean you have starting to understand what it means to possess a caring soul? Uh, nope, not really. I'm no good with those touchy-feely concepts, I guess. Well, I thought you did a fine job today. Of course, you could always do better. Oh, that reminds me. Wait right there for a mo moment, if you would. I have something for you. Something I used once a long, long time ago. I'd be pleased as plum if you accept these for bringing all of these things out here for me. This may be a little old, but the me, they, they'll still do the job sure as the day you were born. So yeah, that's kind of the bonus we get for getting the uh, wine as well as the uh, uh, anchovies. Wow! Awesome, thanks! You sure we can have these? Absolutely! Not like I'll be setting sail for win wild exotic lands again anytime soon. Anyway, thank you for bringing this stuff all the way up here. Now I best get back to work. I've basically been playing hooky this whole time we've been talking. I stay here any longer and someone's bound to notice. Please take care of yourself. Take care of you, old coot. Please excuse us. Uh, let's go ahead and equip our new stuff. Okay. Work boots, Strega R. 
Okay, so the Gladiator Headband uh, raises CP recovery rate rises in battle. And of course it does plus 5 strength, but negative 5 defense. And then the Work Helmet is just plus 3. Uh, plus 3. Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess I'll keep her up for now, but I'll give the uh, headband to Joshua here since he's pretty he's he's pretty much our go-to physical fighter in this case. And then of course we have the Ruby Talisman which can help against fire-based uh, or makes the wearer's attack and defense will become fire-based, which can be good or bad depending on the enemy you're up against. Like those still plants we were fighting before, if you did that, then uh, they would take much, much reduced damage. But yeah, I did find Final Fantasy XIII 3 Lightning Returns, just to d help distinguish it. Uh, had fairly good quest design in what you did. You know, it gave you a lot of different things to do in each of the different quests, from collecting items to... Uh, and some of them were multi-layered as well, continuing on the next day. Uh, you know, continued on. Of course, I did find the time mechanic to be a bit annoying. Trying to get things done at a certain amount of time or at a certain time of day is always difficult to do. So that's my probably my biggest gripe with the game, but overall I felt like it was a lot better than the other two. But yeah, now that we uh, have that taken care of, let's see, we still have to turn the torn map we found. And then after that we have the find the prototype, candelabra theft, and make him leave. But uh, the make him leave, or urine road monster, and the find the prototype we can all do when we uh, go to uh, Ereleton, which is east on the end of the Aryan Causeway. So the next one we'll finish up will be the Candelabrum Thief. But to do that, we'll need to head all the way back to Ruin. But there's really not much else on this side of the map to do other than to maybe check up on a few areas for treasure chests if we've missed any. Like, uh... As you can see, you can travel on the water here, so sometimes or if you you can go around the corner and you might find something. Like this, for example. And a tear bomb's always nice to have. And it's filled with tear... With, with, fills this chest with your tears because it is empty. Ah, uh, sorry, but I'm not sad to be taking my t tear bombs from you. But yeah, so... That's kind of my opinion on good examples of side quests and maybe a few, and then the few bad examples with Altira Rorona just being more or less busy work and that was the only thing you kind of really did. You know, I sort of felt like World of Warcraft sort of fell into that a little bit too after a while when you have over 90, over 100 now levels of content to do. So nothing over there either. And tear bomb there, uh, but that you know, but I did enjoy World of Warcraft for the times that I played it for, and you know, but I probably won't go back to it anytime soon. And I'll be curious to see where else they go with it, with how long it's been going on for. So yeah, I think there's something over here to get. Oh wait, this is for the barrel, isn't it? Okay, so, sorry, my mistake. Let's uh, enough wandering around for now. Let's go ahead and uh, or actually, I think there was something over here. Just to tell you guys, there's a nice set of armor for us here, right here. After we defeat these monsters, of course. And he misses, of course. But yeah, so, and here we go, Hell's Gate. Actually, I, I prefer using Stone Impact a bit more since it has a greater reach. But yeah, so, let's see. I guess another game I would, I kind of have mixed feelings for, uh, in, in, in kind of, it's, in, for some parts of it would be Rogue Galaxy. 
Now, the game itself, I did enjoy, uh, you know, thanks to its combat and its story. Uh, but I think the qu side quests for some of them as well may not have been as good. You know, but I, I guess, as I said, the reason I have mixed feelings for it is because... I guess there was something about it I wasn't sure if I cared for as much or liked, but I, for the life of me, I can't remember it. Yeah, but I guess that's always the problem with how old that game is now. But yeah, so, the battle suit, another nice piece of equipment we can pick up. And I guess since Joshua here, uh, just lost some defense, we should probably give him some new ones. Since he has that gladiator headband. But let's go ahead and, uh, get that torn map turned in. Before we continue on. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, Rogue Galaxy, definitely a game uh, I would probably want to replay at some point. Uh, but a game that's been on my mind a bit lately has actually been uh, Threads of Fate. Uh, and but I'll explain more after I finish talking to him here. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, you're back. Any sign of the treasure? Um, well, we haven't found anything substantial yet. But we did find a couple old daggers and a beat-up map. Uh, a sea chart? Whoa, this is big stuff. Please, let me see it. Hey, calm down. I don't want you to die of excitement or anything. Whoa, is this what I think it is? Whoa, wow, this is incredible. This is one of Sh uh, Sherman's treasure maps. What? Now hold on a second, mister. You just said a minute ago that you had the treasure map already. That had to have been a treasure map map. My map shows the location of this map, which shows where the actual treasure is. This is getting confusing. But I found the chart inside a barrel. Let's not worry about that. Sometimes we just have to su suspend our disbelief to get through the day. It may seem a little strange that we find a sea chart like that, but I kind of want to believe that there's something to all of this. Ha <laughs> ha, as do I. Well, if it is something to think about, well, as long as our client is happy, we're happy, even if we're also very confused. Oh, that's right. Hey, Jimmy, what about the daggers we found with the chart? Hmm? You guys can keep those. I don't have much in the way of Mira, so it's the only payment I can offer. Please, take them. Share in the mystery with me. Okay, thanks. Wow, this is really amazing! This sea chart is just a spectacular find. Ha <laughs> Look, it's like I'll be busy again real soon. Whoa, I can't stick around here. I gotta take this to O'Neill to get it deciphered. He's gonna flip! Oh, uh, who's O'Neill? Later, thanks for your help. O'Neill? Oh, okay. Now I get it. So, who is he? He's an older German who runs a general store. He tells lots of interesting stories, but he tends to blow them out of proportion. Yeah, I get what you mean. So I guess that Jimmy's been taken in by the old man's tall tales. Yes, so it would appear. Ah, <sighs> I knew it sounded too good to be true. But... If it is true, maybe that chart really is the one from his fish tails. That's possible. <laughs> I guess it is a little mysterious. Hey, if we believe in it, I wonder if maybe it would pay off. Honestly, though, I think Jimmy believes a little too, uh, fer fervently. Still chasing your dreams isn't a bad way to live. Well, now that we got that all taken care of, we can move on to our next job. Uh, let's, so let's go ahead and uh, get that started. It hopefully shouldn't take too long. Uh, I, you know, this one is a bit more of a scavenger hunt than uh, anything else. And we get it started by talking to our old friend here, uh, the mayor's aide. Oh dear. I can't believe this sapphire gleam was stolen. 
And why now of all possible times? Hmm. Eh, no, I'm not gonna go with that voice. Sorry, guys. Ah, you're here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Yeah, the voice I was doing before sounded too young and... or too, uh... old and, uh... Uh... Like, I imagine someone wearing those giant rimmed foggy glasses or something like that. And more hunched over. Hmm. Ah, clothes with you. Yes, I'm accompanying them. We came as soon as we saw the bulletin board. What seems to be the problem? As you can see... This pedestal used to be adorned with a candelabrum. Aw, oh, man. It really just disappeared without a trace, huh? Things being what they are, I'd like to ask you to conduct a search. What say you? Are you available? Ah, uh, I guess we are. Fine with me. Sure thing. Excellent. Now, let me give you some background. This stolen item is a candelabrum called the Sapphire Gleam. Glim. It is a fine piece of craftsmanship dating back to the just after the Orbital Revolution. A Delmore family heirloom, in fact. It would sell for hundreds of thousands of mirror were it ever placed on the open market. <laughs> hundreds of thousands of mirror? I see. It's probably not an issue of petty burglary then. Huh? It's not? You would have you would have to have some kind of safe way of laundering something that valuable. So whoever took it must be well connected. I get it. So that would rule out most of your everyday thieves. Well, actually, money wasn't the primary mo motivation for this crime it seems. Huh? What do you mean? Look at this card. That which nests here is a beast more dire than any other. Continue to give praise to the spirit whose blue light was lost in the darkness. Free the spark it left behind, and I will be free. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Adios sees only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over this settlement. Do so, and the blue light will be revealed. Phantom Thief B. What's this? A note left behind on the bare pedestal. It appears to be written by the thief himself. He wants us to know he did it? So I'm inclined to believe. I got it. If all he was after was money, this is a wee bit excessive. What he wrote must have some significance. It almost sounds like some kind of poetry. Hmm, blue light lost in the darkness. I'm guessing the blue light refers to the stolen candelabrum. Yes, I'd imagine so. The candelabrum is said to have been made at great pains by the townsfolk and given as a gift. That might explain the give praise to the spirit part. Oh, I get it. So what about the last part? Sounds like it wants us to look in a specific direction. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over this settlement. Well, it certainly sounds like it's trying to tell us where to go. And the destination has to be important somehow. The sediment bit probably refers to ruin, so there must be some kind of three-eyed giant somewhere in the city. Hmm, a giant. Well, it's obviously a clue. I'll make a note of it. I can be of little use in this matter. I must be off soon, as I have other work to which I must attend. And so, I shall leave you to your investigation. Sure thing. So, first thing is to search this room top to bottom. That won't be necessary. Why not? It has already been looked over by the residents. I would like for you to search the surrounding area. But... The card left you with a distinct clue to follow. Don't tarry. The, that candelabra must be recovered. I see. Then we'll abide by your wishes. I guess the client is always right. Please, understand, I have no desire to interfere with the professionals in this matter. I greatly appreciate your understanding. Now, I'll leave you to concentrate. I'll be upstairs, so let me know if, anything, if you find anything out. Man, this is a strange case. I guess we just have to see where that card leads us. There must be a hint somewhere in Ruin. 
I guess we'll just have to be patient and stay focused. Come on, let's get moving. Okay, so for this quest, uh, it's pretty much a scavenger hunt. You look for the uh, landmarks that the clues give you and see where, uh, and then it, you know, the next one you find will lead you to another one. It does this a few times, and pretty much if you've done enough exploring around the area, it shouldn't be too bad. The first one is actually here at this uh, little lighthouse thing. I actually originally thought it may, may have meant the lighthouse over that we just visited at the maintenance district, but it actually turns out it's this one here, and you'll see just shortly. Hmm, what's wrong? Hey, that's a card, isn't it? Let's have a look. This is definitely it. It's the same card that we saw on the mayor's estate. I see. So this is what the card meant by three-eyed. Ah, I see. This might be the three-eyed part of the clue. So, is anything written on it? Let's see. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Adios see only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between the red and black. Do so and the blue light will be revealed, Phantom Thief B. Looks like the next spot's been picked. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between the red and black. Red and black. That has to mean something in ruin, don't you think? Probably, yeah. I guess the criminal sure must love his puzzles. He won't break his own rules. What a total jackass. Oh well, let's start searching. So when I actually went through this, I originally thought it meant this store here, because of the red sign with the black bottle there. But I w in the waltz I was thinking maybe it had something to do with the bridge. But no, it actually has to do with the casino. Let me ask you guys, what do most casinos normally have in them? I'll give you five seconds to think of an answer before I uh, give you it. And the answer is a simple roulette table. So we just go over here and to the uh, explanation point mark, and here it is. A red and black waltz. I can't imagine it means anything but roulette. I think you're right. Let's check it out. Is there something you're looking for, sir and madams? Sorry, but we'll be done in just a moment. Aha! Found it! A card is glued flat to the surface. So, it should have the next message, right? Yeah, let's take a look. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Adios see only the truth and pass it on to you. Rest at the land harbor and look to the one-eyed lion. Do so and the blue light will be revealed. Phantom Thief B. Okay, I've added it to my bracer notebook. The important parts are probably the land harbor and the one-eyed lion. One-eyed this time. It's always made more sense once we got there before. I doubt this time will be any different. Yeah, I guess we need to get a move on. A madman's clues must be followed, after all. Sorry to cause all the fuss. Yeah, of course, he has no idea what we're talking about, and it's just he doesn't even seem to be concerned about the card. But yeah, so for the next clue, the uh, it should be obvious that the landing or the land port he was talking about is ruined landing port. For the li one on Lion, though, actually, is this Orvid right here? Oh no, this is Harvid. He looks a lot like the Orvid character we talked about before. Oh, and here's our old friend, journalist Neil. And he looks like he's got to work on a few things in Gransel. And he's holding out for a seat to free up on the airliner. But he plans to come back to ruin soon enough. But yeah, so for the next, uh, the one-eyed lion, it's pretty much talking about this guy here. And at least that's the other clue it gives you whenever you see a question, uh, explanation point over your head. That always helps. I get it. The one-eyed lion. 
I wonder if there's a way to keep it from seeing you. This must be the Land Harbor. No doubt about it. Alright, let's see what we can find. Okay, I found the card. We should confirm its contents. Right. Oh, Seeker, the eyes of audio see only the truth and pass it on to you. Beyond the drawbridge, look to the barrels near the steel crane. Do so and the blue light will be revealed. I'm still not quite sure why he calls himself the Phantom Thief B. Is there a th Phantom Thief A? Or a Phantom Thief C? Hmm, another weirdo clue. Now it's a steel crane. Sounds suspiciously easy to figure out this time. The drawbridge it mentions is probably the one over in the harbor. Ugh, how much longer are we gonna have to do this? Haha, <laughs> I'm sure we must be nearing the end. We just have to keep going. Okay, Estelle, what do you need to pick up your spirits? Um, I I'm just tired is all. I'm fine, really. See? I'm ready to get back in the game. I swear. So, but yeah, we have to go back to that harbor where we uh, found originally found that warehouse key and take care of things there. Yeah, so talk to the crane here. Hmm, that's weird. This must be the steel crane, but there are no barrels to be found. Well, what the heck is this stupid clue is supposed to mean then? Hey, mister. Hmm, what is it? You see any barrels around here? Barrels? Can't say that I can recall. The warehouse is packed full of them, though. Uh, oh well. Hmm, the warehouse? What's wrong? Um, I was just thinking. Didn't we find the warehouse key earlier? Yes, at Mr. Hogg's request. And we haven't heard, talked to him either, right? The barrels near the crane were moved to the warehouse. I get you. You're thinking that the barrels that were here are all inside now. You're probably right. Nice going, Estelle. <laughs> it does happen from time to time. Okay, let's go see what Mr. Harg has to say. Good afternoon, Mr. Harg. We have a question for you. Me? What do you want? I was wondering what kind of work you were doing when you lost the key. You said you were moving the barrels near the crane to the warehouse. Is that correct? Yep, sounds right. I was actually just one barrel, though. It was in the way of the crane, see, so it had to be put in storage. I lost the key sometime after that. Sorry to be a bother, but is there any way we can get into the warehouse? We'd like to examine that barrel. Hmm, well, management doesn't approve of outsiders entering our warehouse. It's prohibited, in fact. The stuff that's stored there is supposed to be secure, you know. My job's at stake, so I really can't let you inside. Man, that's a problem then. Still, I owe you one. I'll see what I can do. You just want to check out that one barrel, right? Yep, that's correct. Well, I can take it out for a spell then. That way, you can look it over all you want without ever having to go inside. Hooray for loopholes! Ah, oh, okay. Thanks, that'd be a huge help. This is no big deal. Follow me, then. Okay, it's open. Hang on a second here. Oh, Mr. Portos. What you doing around here? Oh, I just had a hunch about something. So I used the duplicate key to get into the warehouse and check on it. Huh? A duplicate? Didn't even know there was one. Anyway, who are these folks? Oh, they're bracers. They want to look over that barrel I moved in here earlier. It's part of their investigation. Ah, I see. But I'm afraid that only authorized personnel are allowed inside the warehouse. Yeah, but I'm the one who moved it in there in the first place. 
Should it be should be okay if I bring it outside for a short while so they can look it over, no? Yes, that should be fine. Please, assist them in their investigation. Surprised to see Bracers coming all this way for an investigation, though. Such young ones, too. You guys do some admirable work. <laughs> well, we do all right. If you need any information, feel free to ask Harg. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, I'll bring the barrel. Phew, sorry for the long wait. Here's the barrel you wanted. Wow, this thing is huge. And you actually carried it all by yourself? Haha, <laughs> never underestimate a dockhand. I found the card, Estelle. Wow, really? I must apologize most profoundly, for the barrel to have been moved was an error most inopportune. But the warehouse key was recovered, and you have made it here. I will reveal the truth unto you. Your reward will be what you have sought. Look within the barrel, the candelabrum you will find, no doubt. Be returned to its rightful owner. Ah, time grows short. We will meet again, Phantom Thief B. I've got a bad feeling about this. This weirdo must have been close by watching us. Indeed. Hey, look at the card. Some of the ink is still wet. What? Hey, what do you think you're doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, Mr. Potos. You said earlier that this would be okay. What are you talking about? Damn, we've been had. What? No way! You were just here a little while ago, and... You must have been someone posing as him. The criminal may have worn a disguise and used the opportunity to plant the card. Oh no. Well, then we need to get after him. Oh, Estelle. Off she goes. Joshua, shouldn't we do something? I'm afraid it's probably too late. We messed up when we didn't notice the imposter before. I doubt Estelle will find any trace of him. Ah, uh, I see. Let's make sure the candelabrum isn't damaged. Retrieving it was our main priority, not catching the perp. You're right. It was written that it would be in the in this barrel. I pray that's true. Oh man. I hope she isn't too disappointed that we're opening this without her. And that's the story. We got the candelabrum back undamaged. But we haven't found any clues as to the whereabouts of the thief. All we know is that he calls himself Phantom Thief B. <sighs> if only we'd find out about the fake sooner. He disappeared while we were running around in circles. No, no. You've all done a fine job. The main thing is that the sa sapphire gleam has been recovered. The mayor is right. You've done exactly what we've asked of you. Thank you for your kind words. But the fact is, we still allowed the thief to escape. Yeah. We can't just let him get away with this. We would like your permission to continue the investigation. If possible, we want to search the estate for any further clues. No, that's really not necessary. My request did not require you to catch the culprit, after all. You brought back the candelabrum. But... Joshua, I understand your passion for upholding justice, but there are other more important crimes which must be answered for. I do not wish to further monopolize your time over something so trivial. I've no doubt that there are others out there who are waiting for a bracer's help. It would please me if you'd help those in greater need first. Mayor. Understood. Then we will close our investigation. Heh. <laughs> oh, fine. And, of course, I will compensate you fully for your time and effort. Now, if you'll excuse me, my rudeness, I must leave. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. We'll also be on our way, then. Ah, 
Huh. Well, that's taken care of, but I exa wouldn't exactly call it settled. So it would seem, yes. Hey, come on, Joshua. I know you got something on your mind. Huh? Oh, yeah, a little. I was just wondering why the thief would take the candelabrum if he meant for it to be found. Good question. But it looks that like we may never know. The newest card is what really gets me. It's as if this were designed as a test specifically for you two. Yeah, that's been bugging me too. We need to keep up our investigation. For starters, we still don't know where the crook sneaked in from. Why don't we do some sneaking around on, of our own and check out the estate? W wouldn't that make us just as bad as the crook we're chasing? Well, then what are we supposed to do? What choice do we have? We're supposed to abide by the client's wishes. For now, we have to be patient. Grrr. Alright, let's go. Like the mayor said, there's a lot that still needs to be done. Oh, alright. Guess it's back to the drawing board. That seems to be all that we can do for the moment. And with that done, you can join us next time when we continue on our side questing spree to finish up the rest of the quests and then move on to the main. Until then, have fun gaming. <laughs>